Al John Go once again for Epiphone. Here talking about the Epiphone original Emperor Swingster. This guitar dates back to the 50s when Epiphone was really, really working its uh, magic on Gibson, its fierce rival at the time. And so what they wanted to do is have a really nice uh, hollow body, completely hollow guitar to really serve that jazz market. And this guitar really does. It serves uh, great jazz, blues, some even country um, type of genres in terms of uh, what you can play with this guitar. But you can also play it, you know, with rock and a little bit of distortion, a little bit of some drive. But once again, where it really shines is definitely, you know, playing those clean jazzy type of uh, chords. So let's get into some of the features of this guitar. First off, you have the classic Epiphone big headstock. You have got here the Tree of Life inlay with the Epiphone original logo. You also have Grover tuners, high quality tuners. The neck has a 60s slim taper feel, very comfortable to play. You also have the Graftech nut, which has great tuning stability. It also sounds great when you play the open strings, very nice tone. This is a set neck, which means that this neck is glued on to this body. The body is made of five plies of layered maple. And when you make those layered top, back, and sides together, it actually holds its form. It's nice and rigid, so you can still enjoy that woodiness that you get from having an all hollow guitar. This particular guitar has got some really nice kind of glittery binding accents and uh, all these great features uh, you'll see on this Emperor Swingster. Very, very glitzy type of guitar. The pickups are Epiphone Swingbucker pickups. These sound great, have a nice natural mid-range. It's got some articulation in there. And because they're the Swingbucker Epiphone pickups, they are also four conductor, which means that you can split them. So you can have a nice, warm, non-buzzy sounding humbucker sound, but you can split them and you can get a really nice, thinner, more glass-like tone out of those single coil splits. The bridge itself is actually based on the classic bridge. It's uh, mounted on wood and you have the adjustable pieces here, the adjustable screws that can raise and lower the action of the bridge itself. And the Bigsby wire tremolo gives you a nice vibrato. So it's not a Floyd Rose by any means, so don't go crazy dive bombing, but it will give you that nice warm vibrato. Now let's check out these swing bucker pickups. You have here the neck position. <laughs> Now you go from the warm neck position, add a little bit of mid-range in the center position with both pickups. And now let's try a little bit more treble with this bridge position pickup. Another great thing about this guitar is the fact that it's got push-pull pots for series and parallel wiring. You can hear the difference in tone. Check this out. This is the neck pickup. Now you'll hear the series and parallel switching when it comes to the treble pickup. And that's it for the Emperor Swingster. For more details on this guitar, it's all in the app.